What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over this problem called what's next. Basically you're given three numbers A1, A2, and A3 and you just have to determine whether it's an arithmetic progression or a geometric progression. And it's guaranteed that's one or the other. And um, yeah, the last line is when all the three values are zero. So that's that's when you break through the loop. Okay, and um, yeah, and then basically that's it. Just print whether it's an arithmetic progression or geometric progression. And then the next uh, next thing you're printing is basically the the next member of the sequence. So the next the next value of the sequence. So in this in this case we have four, seven, ten. We know this is an arithmetic progression based on the definition of arithmetic progressions. And uh, because we're adding three every time. So four plus three is seven, seven plus three is ten, ten plus three is thirteen, and that's why the output is thirteen. In the other one, we have two, six, and ten. Uh, two, six, and eighteen. We know this is a geometric progression because we're multiplying three every time. Two times three is six. Six times three is eighteen. Eighteen times three is fifty-four, right? And that's why the next next value is fifty-four because eighteen times three is fifty-four. Okay, and that's basically the gist of the problem. You just have to determine if it's an arithmetic progression or not. So if we want to write this down, let's say I have a one a2 a3 we just have to determine a4 right and if there's if it's an arithmetic progression we're adding by some number x every single time so this would be an arithmetic progression a4 will just be a3 plus x and if it's a geometric progression you're multiplying by some number you're multiplying by some x value. so you would, you would multiply by some x value and multiply by some x value and then a4 is multiplying is a3 multiplied by an x value so yeah that's that's basically the definition of arithmetic progression and geometric progression and i'm going to explain the code so guys i have not actually done this problem before with uh, in c plus plus so i'll do it with you guys okay so we know an arithmetic progression is if the each of the sums if you add a value to the first value it equals the second one and if you add the same value to the second one equals a third value so there are differences between them that have to be the same so if a1 um a, if a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2 yeah if a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2 then we're going to see out arithmetic progression and then a space and then we're, we're, what we're going to do is we are going to print the sum the difference so the difference is a3 minus a2 right and we're just going to add, take this value and then add it with the last value which is a3 and then we print n um so if it's not an arithmetic progression that means it's a geometric progression so we're going to see out gp else see out gp and we're going to print out a new space and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the third value right the third value divided by the second value so that will give us the common ratio and then multiply by the third value to get our fourth value. So third value divided by second value. And then we're going to multiply by the third value again to get our. So this gives us our common ratio and this is going to multi, uh, give us the next value. And it's the same thing as arithmetic progression. We get the common difference. Right. And then we add by the next value. And then, yeah, because they said the last value, the last all three numbers are all zero in the end. That's why I read in the three numbers first, and while they are not all equal to zero, then I do this, and then I read in the three numbers again. So then by the next iteration, it would check if they are all equal to zero or not. Okay, and yeah, let's see if this works. I'm not 100% sure because I did this in Java and I didn't do this in C++ before. So yes, uh, let's see, GCC. Let's see if this works. It could be a problem with it, absolute value hope there isn't it gives me wrong answer okay what, what is the problem um let's see what is the problem uh da, 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 da. a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2 um let me check my java solution real quick it should be right hold up let me just find my previous Java solution because like this uh, a3 minus a2 
is equal to a2 minus a1. Yeah, that is right. Um, a3 plus a2 minus. I think that's right. Wait, a3 plus a2. A2 minus A1, this is right. If A2 minus, let's put parentheses. A2 minus A1 is equal to A3 minus A2. A3 plus A3 minus A2, this should be right. I mean, we could do A2 minus A1, it's still the same thing. Because they should have a common common number. So let's, let's try it again. But yeah, that was my solution before, so I don't know why. Don't know why it's not working now. Let's see. Let's see if it works now. Still wrong answer. Okay, let's see. Let's see. What is the problem? A3 minus A2 plus. Pretty sure this is right. Okay. Let's 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 go through this again. 4, 7, 10 should give us. Let's print this out. Okay, let's do this real quick. 4, 7, 10. AP 13, yeah, that's right. 2, 6, 18. GP 54, it's right. 0, 0, 0. Yep. Okay, so that's really strange why I'm, my thing is not working. Um, five zero zero should be 0. Oh, wait. No, whoops. I did not do 500. Zero, zero. Hold up. Let's see. Ah, okay. So this loop should actually be an or sign. If, yeah, so if you, if, I should have put a parentheses on not that. So then, yeah, now it should work. So the reason why you have to put or is because if they're not all zeros, then yeah, then that's a problem. But should work now. Yeah, now it got accepted. Okay, yeah. So yeah, if they're not, so basically the reason why this didn't work because they have to all be zeros and then it would break. So I could have done this way it, while they're, let's say they're all equal to zero. Instead of putting or, could have done this way, put parentheses on all of them and then put a not. So while they're not all equal to zero. So this would actually distribute the, the, the not equal to zero into all of these and it would give the same answer. So yeah, that's why the, the or, you had to put an or if you're gonna distribute the not to each of these. But yeah, this is basically the solution to the problem. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. This is a pretty basic problem. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.